smelt the boreholes. Probably pileated woodpeckers. What a few. Huh. Must have been a bunch of bugs. Infested the thing. The way we came and the Causeway Street trailhead. Ever more erratics deep here in the shattocks. A little bit of motorism over there. And fallen trees. We got it all. Wetlands there, a little cool boardwalk. There's another trail heads off that way. Oh, some stonework. Ooh, maybe it's an old cellar hole. This is actually, I'm not sure if I went through here, but Medfield is a town. I'm still trying to figure out what this stuff is. I love the shape. Medfield is a town I explored in my early base circuit interests in the 1980s, where I'll be going later today at Moon Hill, I've been on. I haven't been through here before. This is a new boardwalk. See, they're relatively tolerant of bicycling. If you are relatively thoughtful of use of the place. And of course we have jewel weed and profusion for those of you who have unfortunate brushes with poison ivy. The answer is ready at hand. I'll never shut up about jewelweed. So there we have the first new boardwalk.
passing to another little upland forest. More stone walls. From what I understand, the stone walls went up a lot in the early 1800s after the Portuguese lost their monopoly on bull merino sheep. Here in New England there was a mad sheep bubble, sheep raising as the latest big thing, kind of like mobile wireless now. And then eventually like all bubbles had burst and the sheep raising went somewhere else. But it laced these forests with all these funny stone walls. Relics. and some sphagna along the edges. Eventually they merge with the Charles. So we came from there. Uh, we're heading this way, which is south. Respects to the little freshet. We now wind our way through a rooty section. Perhaps an old dike system that ran through this fading marsh. Present bracket fungi and distinctly charming lycopodia. Like 